Carolyn Houston Ellenberger, and this would be addressed to state officials. And I'm talking about increasing communication abilities and making communication easier for places where it's hard for people to communicate. I would like to thank you for the opportunity to provide testimony on the important issue of increasing access to communication for people with difficulties communicating. I am the parent of an almost four-year-old child with autism who at this point in his life is still nonverbal. There are two areas where I feel an iPad equipped with the Prolocodigo app would be extremely beneficial. The first is in every hospital emergency room. The second is in state-run facilities such as museums and parks. To begin, let me familiarize you with the Prolocodigo app. It is an augmentative and alternative communication application that uses close to 14,000 symbols and be, can be customized to the location where it is being used. It enables the user to touch the iPad screen and create sentences. The iPad will then say the sentence aloud. It could be used by anyone who is nonverbal or because it is picture-based by people who speak foreign languages. I called the emergency rooms for every hospital in the Capital District and discovered that on average, there are communication issues at each of them every single day. These issues cause delays in services. The communication specialist at St. Peter's Hospital thought this would also be an excellent resource for patients who are intubated, in addition to those who are nonverbal or speak foreign languages. Having this in, an emergency, in emergency rooms would enable the hospital staff to begin working with the patient more quickly, as opposed to waiting for a translator or another communication specialist. At a cost of just under $1,200, it would more than pay for itself by reducing costs related to interpreters. Several parents that I spoke with have encountered problems in emergency rooms and also in doctor's offices with children who could not verbalize what was wrong or what hurt. Delays were common, as were visibly confused medical personnel. It shakes the parents' confidence when the health professionals have no idea as to where to start looking for a problem because the child cannot tell them. With Prolocodigo app, a child could say, my stomach hurts, or I bang my head. A person stung by a bee could indicate this and also that they're having an allergic reaction. A patient with a tube in his mouth could indicate his need to use a bathroom. In a state-run facility, such as the New York State Museum in Albany, the simple-to-use Prolocodigo app would also make life easier for people who are nonverbal in their families. It could be customized for the exhibits, the Adirondacks, Sesame Street, Iroquois, or any of the others. The nonverbal person would be able to use the iPad to say, I want to go see the longhouse, please, or can we go see the deer? The pictures in this app could actually be photographs from the exhibits. In conclusion, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to you regarding making state-run and public facilities more accessible to people who are nonverbal. Having an iPad with the Prolocodigo app on them, available at both hospitals and state-run facilities, such as museums and parks, would be a great start to making all of these facilities more accessible to people with limited verbal communication abilities.